Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be part two to my previous video. Must see video regarding strange occurrences happening worldwide. So here's part two. As I stated in my vi previous video, 20,000 5G satellites are set to be launched, sending dangerous beams of intense microwave radiation across this world. I'll make a separate video regarding this, but the hashtags are 5G, satellites, space, radiation, and strange sounds. So what do you think about this? Maybe that's why there's no dead spots on our property or around our area anymore and at our house. We don't even really need the micro cell tower now. Of course, it helps out because it gives us full signal, full 4G signal instead of just one bar. But still, I don't lose any signal in the area anymore. We don't lose signal. So, what do you think? Give your thoughts on this. It doesn't fully make sense to me, given the fact that 5G, 5th generation signal, is over a short distance. People have stated they had to put up 10 towers on each side of their street on a short road because the transmitters are like small antennas and only go over a short distance, maybe two to 300 feet. And they do not go through walls, ceilings, floors, buildings, you know, uh, vehicles. They won't go through solid objects. So you'd have to have a 5G transmitter in every room, in every vehicle, every area. So it doesn't really make sense to me, even if they put 20,000 satellites up in the sky transmitting 5G signal, it seems like that they would only transmit them to each other and that they would just radiate and fry the atmosphere, if you ask me. It doesn't seem like they would even do us any good signal-wise, but I don't know. I mean, that sounds that's, way, that's the way it sounds to me. I'm going to make a separate video regarding this, and I'll read the article very soon. So give your thoughts on this. I'm drinking a, a bottle of water here, so um, I've been dehydrating a lot, so I have to constantly drink something. Okay, the next article, uh, Lake Michigan completely fr uh, froze, freezes amid the extreme, extremely dangerous temperatures. So you can see the pictures here, it's frozen solid. And right now, Japan is very nervous because earthquake and tsunami overdrive is happening. Several ore fish have washed up on shore, which is usually harbingers of, a na of natural disasters, such as major volcanic eruptions, major earthquakes, things like that. It's usually nature's warning that an earthquake or a volcanic eruption is, is on the way very soon when ore fish beach themselves. And a scientific discovery with disturbing, a disturbing cavity, roughly two-thirds the size of Manhattan, I heard about this yesterday, has been found beneath Antarctica. Home of the Lizard King? <laughs> and really, reptilians, it's not a joke if you actually keep up with uh, the things that I've dealt with and the things that many accounts that have been documented worldwide... And they think uh, many docu much documentation has been taking place worldwide of individuals who have dealt with beings that are, I don't want to sound crazy, but many of you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Sorry about the traffic in the background. I'm still making a video from the truck. So just, just bear with me and uh, give your thoughts on this. I know many of you are open-minded and many of you dealt with many beings and much activity that's similar to mine, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So what's going on with this disturbing cavity that's roughly two-thirds the size of Manhattan beneath Antarctica? Is it the area of the secret, secret Nazi bases? Is it uh, alien-slash-UFO activity? Is it government bases similar to Area 51 or Area 52, secretive bases? Where the world elites go, what's going on there? Something's going on. Something is definitely happening in Antarctica. And Antarctica has been a place of much speculation, and there's been much supernatural, paranormal, uh, much secrecy, and uh, world elites meetings. Uh, there have been, there's been much speculation and much secrecy regarding the area of Antarctica. So, is there a Nazi base there? Is there some kind of demonic secretive activity taking place there? Elites... Uh, you know, the Illuminati, masonry, and all of that's not a joke. 
Uh, like I stated in that one video, this person started talking about the Simpsons and many of their predictions and parallel universes and alternate realities and uh, um, the elites and everything. It's not a joke. Much of society is clueless and will be left behind and are just sadly... I feel like I'm like, how do you say, how do you say, uh, sadly, how do you say, uh, clueless, clueless? No, they're like, they're clueless. They're blinded, and they'll be blindsided to this, but once it's too late, it's too late to figure this out. Mind you, some things are complicated. The other day, it was proven that geoengineering weather modification is real. I'll show you some images of that very, very soon. But it's raining meteorites in Cuba, loud sonic booms, shaking residents before space rocks fell from the sky in Cuba. This was one of the pictures shown from Cuba. Uh, it's been it's been quite active. There's been meteorites striking worldwide all over the place. They said that there was uh, the largest meteor that, that has hit in over 100 years. This was reported two hours ago. Also, around 24 hours ago, I would say, yesterday, they reported that a meteor hit the area of Cuba that was the largest that has been known to hit the area in over 100 years. At least to remain intact. Let me show you some NASA images. Now, many people have have come to know NASA. Sadly, what they've become is liars, and uh, many people who have come from there or quit call it never a straight answer. Many people, including Jacob Israel and... Uh, and uh, several other YouTubers call them never a straight answer, which is true. Jason Christopher said, stated the same thing. Check out this proof of geoengineering, climate engineering, weather modification. Look at this. These chemtrails, these contrails shown from geoengineeringwatch.org. Images straight from NASA, straight from the horse's mouth. Right here. Multiple chemtrails. These chemicals, chemical contrails. That the conspiracy theorist title is chemtrails. The scientific term is contrails. Might as well just call them chemtrails. They're chemical trails that harm this world and modify the weather they mess with think about when that, that crap comes down. It messes with the balance of nature it messes with human beings our biological structure it messes with the it messes with the natural nature cycle the biological structure of nature itself, the plants that includes the trees the animals the pollinators and the humans themselves. That, coupled with all of the signals, man, we're really screwing this world up. Check out this image here. I mean, there's no debating it. There's no denying. Even the, even the deniers can't deny this. The images from above show that I mean, and it's, like I stated, straight from the horse's mouth. Geoengineering is real. Climate weather modification is real. So, now, weather and climate are two different things, but they go hand in hand. But climate change by the elites is definitely real. And we're not helping things at all. So, check that out. Just want to show that as a final image of this video. I'll make a separate video regarding this. It's important. It needs to be seen. So, much love, peace, and I'll leave my donation links below. If you'd like to donate to this channel, or if you can, please, please, let's keep help spread the truth. Let's keep spreading the truth, and help me continue to be able to do what I like to do. And uh, if you would like to share and donate to this channel, it would help me out a lot. And maybe even, maybe someday I can get enough funds that I can 
further my education and continue. And uh, right now I'm helping my mama out, but hey, I can I, maybe I can be able to maybe I can be able to go back to school to college or just help me out in general. It would help out. So if you'd like to donate, I'll post my PayPal below and I'll post my email. Peace, much love. Thank you for watching this video. Let's help spread the truth. Bye.